so much, and you know, he played the entire first half and came up big. He he was huge. You know, he, he's a terrific player. He's he's a big time scorer, and I've been challenging him to rebound better. Uh, he gets 14. You know, so I'm really proud of him. He did a good job Saturday also against Wisconsin. So that that makes a big difference in our team when he's rebounding like that. Uh, and like you said, especially with Owen on the bench. Fran, just wondering if when you talk about challenging Ben, um, like, I guess, can you expand on that? What does that challenge look like? I told him you can't play 33 minutes to get one rebound. That's what he did against Merlin. I said, you're better than that. We need more from you. He said, Coach, I got you. It's pretty simple. Character guy, through and through. Brandon, I think you had a 15-1 run there late in the first half. Can you explain that stretch and what was going well for you during that time? You know, I, I thought we were moving the ball well. Uh, we got really good shots. You know, I, I, typically our teams, you know, move and share the ball pretty well. It's not always easy against Michigan State, the way they defend. They're physical. They're quick. They're tough. Uh, you know, so you you got to screen. you got to cut. you got to work harder. And you got to work harder and not turn it over because they're pretty good at turning you over. So uh, really proud of the guys in that stretch, how we played. I'll, I'll probably ask Patrick about this here in a bit, but the sickness that he had, how, how bad was it? How did, like, what was it just kind of like seeing him go through that? Uh, you know, it's always, it's always you know, hard when a guy's, you know, under the weather and, and, uh, uh, you just you hope he's going to be okay, and you know when he'll get back when he's ready. And he's a, obviously a big part of our team, uh, and he you know performed incredibly well tonight. And that's that's what you need your veteran guys to do on the road. Uh, Saturday, you guys beat Wisconsin, obviously, and then you come into the Breslin Center and take a win. What have the last two games done for confidence in your team's locker room? You know, I think a great deal because of the respect that we have for the two programs you just mentioned. I mean, you know, not a lot of teams come in here and win, uh, and not a lot, you know, not a lot of teams beat those teams either place. So the fact that we were able to fight through an overtime victory against Wisconsin it was ranked, and then another quad one win for us here on the road. And obviously, on the road, it's always going to be harder. And it's, you know, I think in many ways more indicative of your team's ability to compete. And now we've got to do it again. We've got to go on the road at Illinois. It's one of the best teams in the country. When uh, Owen in for early foul trouble and then uh, Lodgy as well, it, it seemed like you kind of went smaller. Uh, just how did you kind of adjust to the, you know, the foul trouble? Well, there's only a couple of ways we can go. We can go with Evan, and he was fine when he was in there. But you know, we decided to go with a little more offense. You know, it was a good stretch. Where they, you know, you know, Malik Hall at the four, you know, they had a smaller lineup in there. So we felt like we could match up okay. You you hadn't had any quad one wins till Wisconsin, now two in a row. You hadn't won consecutive games since that three game winning streak in January. Just what what do you feel like has been different these last two games maybe? Well, we're right, we're right there in every game. The games we lost, we, we easily could have won. And some of the games we won, we probably easily could have lost. So, you know, you just try to do the best you can to win those close games. And, uh, you know, I feel like there, we've got other wins that were really good. Seton Hall win was really a good win. It's got to be close to a quad one win if it's not. That was a neutral site game. So uh, our guys have performed well, you know, against really good teams. And, and we've got really good teams the rest of the way. Look at our schedule. Fran, I'm wondering about the, your plan of attack. Uh, obviously, last year, the end of the game, the three pointers really pulled things in, but attacking them inside, can you kind of walk through the decision making and that and how your guys did that early on? Well, you know, our two post guys are, are, are really good offensive players. So we're going at Owen, we're going at, at Ben, but we're also, you know, running five out motion, which is not a secret. So now we're back cutting, we're curl cutting, and we're trying to score around the basket. And we only made four threes, 
You know, not a lot of teams are winning with making four threes, and they made ten. So I'm really proud of our guys. And the other thing is that when you're cutting and you're getting near the rim, you're going to shoot more free throws, which we did. Last question. Coach, in a perfect world, to follow up on that question, would you rather hit more threes, or do you like the style that your team is playing right now? I think you've got to be able to do both. You know, I think in a perfect world, you'd want to make more threes. But you've got to be able to score if the free ball's not dropping. And you've got to get to the free throw line because that enables you to get your defense back, especially against a team that runs like Michigan State does. I mean, they, they're quick up. They're on top of you in a hurry. So if you're, if you're missing threes and jacking bad shots, you're going to be on the wrong side of things. So by keeping them on defense and back cutting, getting a few layups and getting to the free throw line, get our defense back, gives you a chance. All right, thanks, Thank you. Thank you.